rising vehicle inventory and bigger incentives drove strong May sales. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. May marked the industry's 10th consecutive monthly sales increase, with American Honda up 58% and Subaru up 28% as industry-wide inventory recovery continued. A sharp rise in incentives at some brands amid the industry's ongoing inventory recovery fueled a jump in U.S. light vehicle sales last month, too. Deliveries rose 21% to around 720,000 vehicles for the seven automakers that report monthly figures. American Honda was among the big winners, notching a 58% gain while Subaru of America posted a 28% increase. May marked the industry's 10th consecutive monthly sales increase, according to LMC Automotive, as it continues to bounce back from supply chain challenges that dogged automakers last year. J.D. Power, working with its partner LMC Automotive, projects total new vehicle sales for May, including retail and non-retail transactions, such as fleet sales, to exceed 1.3 million vehicles, a 15.6% jump from a year ago. The report noted that this May has 25 selling days, one more than May 2022. And without adjusting for the number of selling days, data shows a 20.4% increase from 2022. The average transaction price rose 0.7% year over year, to 45838 a new record for the month of May. The $47 billion spent on new cars this month is the second highest total ever for the month of May. Wow. A big part of the reason why sales jumped significantly this past month had to do with availability and inventory at the dealer level. On the flip side, dealer profits were smaller than those compared to a year ago when dealers were selling more vehicles for prices way above MSRP. The latest results were helped by favorable year earlier comparisons when the inventory shortage was at its worst. Retail inventory entered June up 48% from a year earlier, according to estimates from JD Power and LMC Automotive. Charlie Chesbrough, Cox Automotive's senior economist, said, Vehicle shoppers now have a much better chance of finding something that fits their needs. Pent up demand, held back by limited product availability last year, is now being fulfilled as inventory levels improve around the country. And it's about time. Yeah. Rising inventories also have led to more generous showroom deals. So who had the biggest incentives in May? Volkswagen incentives rose significantly year over year, quadrupling to 2048 per vehicle, according to Motor Intelligence. Jeep had the highest incentives at 3428 per vehicle, nearly triple what it offered the same time last year. Ford, Hyundai, Buick, and Honda also saw a big jump in incentive outlays. TrueCar estimated incentives averaged $1,931 last month, up 13% over April, and up 64% over May 2022. Deals included Chevrolet offering 1.9% financing on select crossovers and SUVs for qualified buyers working through GM Financial, with payments waived for 90 days. Some Stellantis dealers offered as much as $12,000 off of a Jeep Wagoneer. J.D. Power and LMC Automotive said discounts on lease vehicles have risen significantly in recent months, with leasing expected to account for 21% of retail sales in May, up significantly from a low of 16% in September 2022. That will still fall short of May 2019, when leased vehicles made up nearly 30% of new car retail sales. Results for automakers reporting monthly are another sign that pent-up demand remains strong despite rising interest rates. Three core Honda models, Accord up 81%, Civic up 98%, and CRV up 95%, helped the automaker achieve that 58% increase last month, with Honda division volume rising 53% and Acura up 112%. May marked American Honda's third straight monthly increase after a stretch of declines prompted by severe inventory shortages tied to tight microchip supplies and shipping woes. Sales of electrified models set a Honda brand monthly record of more than 32,000 vehicles in May, according to the Honda division. The Honda brand ended May with 34,000 vehicles on the ground, up from 12,000 a year earlier, while Acura had about 21,000 vehicles in stock up from 4,000 at the start of June 2022. Toyota Motor North America saw sales rise 6.4% to 187,205 vehicles in May, with the Toyota brand up 3.7% and Lexus up 25%. Light trucks with an 11% gain provided a major lift for the Toyota brand, 
offsetting an 8.9% decline for cars. The automaker said it ended May with 153,742 Toyota and Lexus models in stock, 27,255 at dealerships, and the rest in ports or in transit. Ford Motor Company's May U.S. sales rose 11%. The Ford brand was up 12% with Lincoln down 14%, led by a 43% increase in F-Series volume. Ford's overall pickup deliveries rose 33% last month. Ford brand sales have climbed for six straight months, while Lincoln volume has dropped for three straight months. All right, if you're new here at the Homer Guy channel or you're a good dealer stopping by for the first time, you should be aware that after more than a decade of warning consumers about bad dealers, the Homer Guy team is on a mission to highlight and promote good dealers around the country, and we would love to hear from you. And yes, we are getting closer to a published date of our good dealers list, and we don't have all the states covered yet, so let's see a flood of nominations come in soon. Some in our audience say that the phrase good car dealer is an oxymoron. And listen, we totally get that, but we also know that it isn't true. I've personally met several outstanding dealers and brought viewers from this Homer Guide channel to see some of them. We know you good dealers are out there, so now we urge you to use the dealer document we have posted in the description box below or pinned in the comment section, and we will definitely be in touch with you. We want to add you to the list of good dealers we are building. In summary, we are essentially in search of dealers who offer good customer service with no funny business and provide a simple, honest car buying experience for the customers. So if this describes you, jump on board with us. By the way, if you're a car salesman or any level of management in a dealership and you'd like to nominate the dealer that you work for as one of the good guys, we invite you to do so. The form link is in the description box below and tagged in the comment section too. Again, contact us if you have any questions or comments by texting to 701-441-3399 or email kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com. We sincerely look forward to hearing from you. By the way, I'd also like to thank the many viewers who have sent good dealer nominations to us, and we encourage others to follow with more. Just send us plenty of details as to why you think a particular dealer is good. Again, use the email, kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com. Also, for our newest viewers out there, it's vitally important that you don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on future announcements. Later this year is coming the announcement of the all-new hassle-free car buying process to help car buyers get a new vehicle without all the typical challenges. And we are excited to say that very soon, we'll be making matches between given buyers and prospective good dealers to conduct some trial tests as we approach the full launch date of this car buying process. There's a simple Google document that you can sign up to get early notification. It's also in the description box below, and you can find it on our website, thehomeworkguide.com. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guide team and our show, is where you always find the most reliable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. We so appreciate the trust and confidence that thousands of you have shown us by getting on the notification list of our new hassle-free car buyers list. It's awesome. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our ginormous YouTube family. If you've just recently joined our fast-growing group of subscribers, we appreciate you and welcome you. Also, thanks to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.